preserving photos and capturing those special memories in an album that you love should be simple and easy for you to do. Today I'm back to share some top tips on how to create a beautiful 8x8 Insta album. If you are familiar with a 12x12 Insta album, it's very similar, different inside design and a different size. So join me and we'll learn some beautiful tips and techniques to creating a stunning 8x8 Insta album the easy way, adding your magnets, papers, and elegant decorative pocket dies. To get started with your mini Insta album, you'll want to place your magnets first. So when you open this, you'll see that there are dots to where you can put your magnets um, throughout the album. Now I choose to put my magnets down before I do the paper obviously. So I'm going to do a basic on how to do the flap and decorate the outside. So um, first of all, after you've added your magnet, just go back and select the paper style that you want. Now with this album, the great thing is, is all the inserts are already glued on. So all you have to do is just cut those papers to size. Those paper sizes are listed on each sheet and you'll always do that times two. So you can do it for the back as well. So when I go to glue down this magnet, cause we are going to cover this flap first, um, I go ahead and just take this magnet and glue it down. Now you'll notice that that has a number one. That means that number one, there's gonna be another number one somewhere in the book and that's where this magnet will attach to. So with this, once I have hooked that into place, I'll go back and choose the paper that I had cut for this. So on the outside of this flap, it says that this paper is three by eight and then you'll go ahead and cover that. So you'll pop that magnet on and then we're ready to get started decorating with that paper. Now when you use the paper, if you are careful and make sure that you do the large cuts first, you're going to be able to use one paper pad per eight by eight and you should have a little bit left over and that will give you ample uh, paper to also embellish with. So you'll go ahead and just glue this on top and that will lock that magnet in place so that you don't have to worry about that uh, coming off or attaching to something else. Now you can always use one of your little clips is since the magnet does create a little bit of a bug bubble, you can clip that to the side so that glues down well and then just wait for that to dry. Now for the top, I cut out this beautiful pattern paper. Um, you can do lots of different styles, but this really makes a, a beautiful album to come together very quickly with the beautiful designs that we have in the paper collection. So make sure that you, uh, when you purchase the Insta album that you pick out a couple of your favorite paper pads as well and you'll see how quickly that starts to take life. To create those pockets the easy way, I love to use those as focal embellishments, but they're super fun to do. So we're gonna go ahead and cut a pocket and you'll use this technique throughout your entire album or your card. These dies were specifically designed to use within your Insta albums and then you can also use them on cards and altered projects. So we're gonna use the Adornit Pocket Accents uh, and you can always refer to my pocket video to learn more creative ways to use these. You don't wanna miss that video. Um, the Adornit Pocket Accents, um, I went ahead and wanted to have this on the side of my um, front flap. So I, you can choose whichever insert you want. This has a couple different styles within this die. So you can go ahead and just line this up. If you wanna use the eyeballing technique, you can do that, or you can also just measure that out. So I'll practically put this in the center, then we'll just tape this down, and we'll run that through the die cutting machine, and that will just cut that out really quickly and beautifully to create that side pocket the easy way. No X-Acto knife, no frustration of something not being straight, super simple and easy.
So I'll bring this out, pull this apart, and then you are ready to add this to your album. How simple was that? So this is the exciting part. You get to start decorating this. So you'll go ahead and glue down this paper. Now when you glue down the pockets, make sure that you just add glue on the top of that die. Do not add glue on the bottom. Otherwise, you are going to lock that in so that you can't insert your tags or whatever you're going to pop in there. So you'll have that as the base. You see how pretty that is? So you've got the pretty on the top, pretty on the bottom. And then you can go ahead after you have die cut this out. If you have not cut these out before, all you have to do is just put that matching insert into the die of choice. Um, and then run that through and you'll have this beautiful die cut that you can add to the side very quickly and easily. So for this top piece, doesn't matter where you put the glue on because your uh, bottom piece is the one that is actually the pocket. So just lock everything in place. So go ahead and glue this on top. Just main thing you want to remember is just line everything up. So you'll just line that zigzag up. Oops, I need to move that down just a little bit. And you have that all glued down. So you'll see the birdie is covered, so I would use the Corning stamp and die and just pop that on top if you like. And then you can go ahead and add your beautiful tags on the side. Um, so I always like to make sure that I, um, if you have a problem with kind of sticking that in, you can always go back with a paper piercer or something, kind of hold that up and that will just slide in. You could do multiple tags if you like. Now one thing I wanted to point out too is you remember how we locked in number one? Um, in this book, you'll see that where that attaches and where that flips to is all the way on the back over here. So you have that number one. So I always like to make sure if I covered the first number one that I find the second number one. You know how a ma magnet has a reverse side? So I will go ahead and pop this magnet that I'm going to glue on the opposite side. When you use these, just slide them apart. Makes it super easy. And I'll glue this in. It might not be the right side, but we'll just kind of glue it over the number one just to kind of hold it in place. You could also tape it. That would be an option. But when I do this, oops, it's wanting to move around because I have dies on the background. Okay, so close that. Close the album up, everything like we want it. And We'll see if that locks in place. It does. That means I added the glue to the right side. Now, if this would not be locking in place, flip that magnet around, glue it in place, cover it with paper, and you're good to go. So let's take a look at the inside of this album. So when you open it up, we'll take a look at the left side first. Um, so you have these beautiful pocket accents. Now, with these dies, I did a separate video on all the different versatile ways that you can do this. So I will link that in the video, this video, but make sure you watch that as well. Um, so with this one, there are different ways that you can fold this. Um, we will also be teaching a full online live class with this. So make sure uh, to check our class section and you can do a album just like this one if you'd like to know how to do a detailed album all the way through. So you have lots of beautiful flips and folds. Um, this comes down, this comes up. So you can really capture those special moments the easy way. So you could have that come up, that go down, um, different ways to flip and fold this together. So I'm just going to close this. Um, there are so many. I forgot to bring the bottom up. You want to make sure that you bring this up before you close those flaps. Um, so if you do something the wrong way, it will tell you. It will not fold back down if you do that. Um, so on the right-hand side, you have this beautiful intro sheet, and then it kind of comes up like another book. Um, you have these flips and folds, so it's amazing how many different pictures and photos and pockets you can create. I did not... Um, count how many photos I added into this one, but I do know that you could do a lot more depending on how many pockets you do. So as we go through, you'll notice I use the, the pocket dies a lot. I use the decorative borders, uh, different ways in this, so make sure that you don't miss out on those for not only your Insta albums, but also your cards. So this just folds close, and then you have this beautiful, kind of like a two-fold on both sides, and then that just closes up and goes in the front. So you have that beautiful album. You can also do some really pretty cards. 
um, with those decorative dies. So don't just think Insta albums. You can do some really uh, elegant, simple cards that are quick and easy and shaped. Another album that we did with this one, this was the very first album design with this um, using the Tulip Time collection and um, some beautiful dies with this. So you can do different variations. You can do the side pull out. Lots of fun ways to create with this. And just think about it, like what are some of those special moments that you have been just kind of procrastinating? You haven't been putting them in an album or maybe you have a graduation that's coming up or a Mother's Day gift. This really makes a unique gift um, that is really priceless. Um, that you will treasure for generations to come. So these magnets really make that everything stays together very beautifully so you can add as many or as little embellishments as you like. It's totally up to you. So those are some fun ways to create with this. So if you'd like more detailed information on how to create an album from start to finish, make sure you take the online class of this mini album as well. Following these quick and easy, simple steps will allow you to preserve those photos that have been stuck in a drawer or on your computer hard drive. Have fun showcasing these special memories and creating albums that you, your friends, and family will absolutely love. If you don't own your 8x8 Insta album yet, make sure to get yours ordered today. I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering. Thank you so much for being part of the Heartfelt Creations crafting family. We will see you next time. Bye.